Hi, I'm Alistair Chapman and I've been shooting today with the SLR Magic 1.33 times anamorphic adapter, anamorphot, and that's been mounted on a couple of the Fujinon MK lenses. This is a really interesting combination because it gives you that 1.3 times anamorphic effect that's perfect for 16 by 9 or 17 by 9 sensors. In terms of pictures, what's it going to give you? Well, it's going to give you that very distinctive change in the shape of your bokeh as you focus. So as you go in and out of focus, the background defocus changes shape very markedly, very distinctly. It will give you different looking flares, although it has to be said that it's actually quite hard to make this lens flare. It's actually a very good quality lens, so it doesn't flare excessively anyway, but when you do get a flare, you tend to get a more horizontal flare, often with a bit of blue or purple coloration to it. Again, very distinctive of that anamorphic widescreen look. Now, one of the key things about this system and the way that it works is we're also using a dual follow focus system from PD Movie. And what the PD Movie system allows us to do is to control the focus of the anamorphic adapter and the lens together. So the focus tracks. Now typically it can be a bit of a problem using one of these adapters because you have to focus the, the main taking lens first and then focus the anamorphic as well. But with this system, I just have a single focus control here and both the anamorphic and the taking lens focus together in tandem so it acts as one anamorphic lens and that makes shooting with it really simple. There are some limitations. You can't really use it wider than about 30 millimeters. So if you're using the 18 to uh, 55, 30 millimeters is about as wide as you can go. You don't want to operate the aperture wide open. If it's wide, wide open, it does tend to be a little bit on the soft side. So just stopping down by a stop or so sharpens it up very nicely. But as an anamorphic lens, as a front element anamorphic, what that does mean is as you pull focus, the bokeh changes shape in the background. The image sort of compresses and de-squeezes a little bit. It's a really nice effect. You have a bit of softness right in the edges, in the corners. It's very typical of an anamorphic lens. And it really does give you that full, proper anamorphic look at a price point that is much, much lower than you would have for buying a set of anamorphic primes, for example. So when you're shooting anamorphic, there are a couple of things you need to be aware of. The image is squashed by the lens when you shoot it. So when you look at it in your viewfinder, it may look distorted. Uh, round wheels won't look round, they'll look sort of oval shaped. So what you want is a camera or a monitor that can do a de-squeeze for you. And there's lots of options there. Now the F5, F55 from Sony, they can do that in camera if you have the R5 raw recorder on the camera. Or, as I've been doing today, what I've been using is my monitor here. So this is actually an Atomos Shogun Inferno. And the Shogun Inferno has the de-squeeze function built in. So it is able then to re-squeeze the image and give me that letterboxed widescreen film-like image that you get when you shoot with an anamorphic lens. So what do you need to shoot anamorphic? Well, you have the anamorphic adapter from SLR Magic, and that goes directly on the front of your Fujinon MK lens. And then you need the PD Movie dual focus system so that the anamorphic adapter and the lens focus together in sync. Now it is possible to shoot without the PD Movie follow focus system. You can do it, you have to focus the anamorphic adapter and you have a calibrated focus scale on the lens and then you focus the lens as well. But it's a bit cumbersome and basically trying to do a pull focus of any sort is next to impossible because you have to use both hands together to focus both lenses. So I do recommend that you do get the PD Movie follow focus system. It really is what completes this and makes it very easy to use. So what does this bring to the party? Well, it brings a very low cost way of shooting anamorphic on a very wide range of cameras. Because the zoom lens is par focal, you can zoom in and out and the focus will track just fine. So it's not just a prime lens, it is still a zoom lens system and it does give you that flexibility, the ability to shoot very quickly, zooming in and out, reframing very fast, work nice and easily. It really is a great little system.